Thank you, Tom. Um, and that is why we think that wigs will go out of style within the next 200 years. So please, on a lighter note, not having to do with wigs and them possibly leaving us. So let's get on the lighter note. A word from our sponsor. We're keeping you live. It's channel five and we're keeping you live till five. Hey, have you, have you, have you ever wondered what a pancake would taste like without syrup? Come to Vermont and you will never have to find out because we have a bunch of syrup. Come to Vermont. It's good for you. So is syrup. Come to Vermont. This is Emily Quaker bringing a word from the Quakers. I'm El Emily Quaker. And I just want to say this one thing. We've gotten ourselves into a heap of trouble. I mean, first there was the French and Indian War, which we shouldn't have wars at all. I mean, why can't we just have peace and just get over it? Sorry. But I'm a pacifist, okay? I just want everyone, you know, to love each other just because we're all brothers and sisters. So, why can't we just act like it, you know? You know, we're all God's children and stuff, so... We should all just respect each other. But this thing with the rebel, with this rebel thing has gotten way out of hand. I mean, sure we have some guy ruling over us and, you know, he, you, you want more land? Well, fine! But... Why do you have to fight for it? Why do you have to feel like you have to overthrow a guy who, you know, he's, he, he sh sure he took away a port, but that's because you threw his tea that he paid for, you threw it into the sea. So that, that wasn't very peaceful at all. So yeah, and also you tar and feather his soldiers that he pays. So you're kind of doing a bad thing there and you're not being peaceful either. And so, and then people try to take away their weapons because you're afraid you're gonna that you're gonna kill them, and so you so you fight people anyway. That doesn't make sense, you know. And also, why can't we just do this peacefully? If you really want independence, why can't you just talk it out with King George? Seriously, haven't you tried that? Haven't you just tried discussing it with him? Discussing why you feel like you need your own country instead of what he's doing. Have you ever thought about that? No, you haven't. Also, so many people are going to die in this war. So many people who are willing to give their greatest gift, life, just for independence. I mean, it's not bad enough. We're like a couple thousand miles away. They will give their life so that they won't have to be a part of England. Does that make sense to you? Additionally, I would like to remind you that in the Bible it says, Thou shalt not kill. Which is totally... Includes war, by the way. So, if you're in the army or in the navy or whatever... You're killing people, and you're against whatever God is telling you to do. So please, step up, and don't join the army.